Next, what we're going to talk about is the remainder theorem. Uh, what the remainder theorem basically says is if we need to find the remainder, uh, we can do that in a little uh, bit of a quicker method. Uh, it won't give us our quotient, but we can figure out what the remainder is, so it might help. Um, so let's see if we can't figure this out. For starters, if I have this polynomial right here and I want to see if a certain uh, polynomial will divide evenly into it, what I can do is just find the remainder. So this time, as you can see, I'm trying to find f of 2. Well, the polynomial that would divide into that, uh, that would give me 2, would be x minus 2. So if I were to solve that, I would get a nice little value of 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a little uh, synthetic division and show you what the remainder actually is. So what we'll do is we'll say 1, negative 4, 5, and 3. Notice I didn't have to hold my place value on this one, which is nice. So I'll bring this down and multiply. 2, negative 2, uh, negative 4, 1, 2, and then my last number is 5. So as you can see, my remainder is 5. So obviously this, this uh, this divisor is not a factor of this dividend because it doesn't go into it evenly. The remainder would have to be zero for that to be the case. But like I said, the remainder theorem is basically a way for us to figure out the remainder uh, in a little bit more of a succinct way. So uh, the concept is we're going to find f of 2. So 2 is our x value. The remainder is actually going to be the y value. So when we plug this in, we'll get 2 to the third minus 4 times uh, x squared plus 5x minus, or 5 times 2, plus 3. So when you cube this, you get a nice little 8, and that's going to give us 4, I mean, negative 16, and then plus 10, plus 3. Uh, when you add all these together, you'll get 18, so you'll get uh, 2 plus 3, which is going to be equal to 5. So as you can see, the remainder theorem allows us to find that remainder by doing different math.